What is going on, you guys? For my Vietnamese friends, xin chào mọi người. Oi, tôi có phô đề tiếng Việt. But, phô đề tiếng Việt. Anyhow, today we are going to do a little catch and cook with snails. Or gather fine snails. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to show you guys a few ways to find the snails with the cast nets, some of the traps, and also just trying to find them with my hands. And the best part yet, I'm going to have Numloom cook the snails. So I can just sit back and relax and maybe do the filming today. Without further ado, let's go try to get some snails. So first off, we're going to use the cast net. And you guys, I'm trying to change my style with the cast net, so I've been practicing a different method. Because ideally, I'd like to be able to throw it off a boat, which I'm extremely nervous to do, but I'm going to hopefully do that within a month. That is a big goal of mine, so I'm working on a different technique, snail. So, uh, don't judge me too much, but let's try to get some snails. Okay, why? Không được. See, this is what I want right here. I just want snails today. But you can see we caught some uh, gas sack and also tilapia. Okay. So here you guys, uh, one of the tilapias. But I, I don't want the fish today, you guys. I know, I know, but I'm just going to be throwing them back because I, I don't want to catch fish. So here's a little uh, gas sack. Uh, do I, do move? Oh, okay. So, all right, throwing this one back. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys, these are the first of our catch for the snails. Đẹp không? Not so far, but more beautiful. Oh, it's alive! You guys, this is the biggest freshwater shrimp I've ever caught. Actually, I take that back. And it has uh, lots and lots of eggs too. So you guys, I'm not keeping this, especially because it has all the eggs, so I'm going to be throwing this guy back, but I'm so excited. I've never caught the shrimp this big in this water over here. Super da. But uh, hopefully they can make some more babies, so in the future I can uh, make some more. But Don't, don't throw it. But that's a lot of eggs inside the mouth of this tilapia. Alright, I'm letting this guy back. This one's probably the biggest one yet, but you're free. Some more snails. Because the snails, you guys, are at the, the bottom of the water, so when the the metal when the net's dragging on the bottom it often picks up all the snails so it's they're not that hard to catch um, or gather I don't even want to say catch because it's kind of not really catching all right so this is the first one where I screwed up with my cast net but I untangled it uh, this is the second cast so and you guys I don't really want that many snails and the thing is I don't want to be catching the fish too because I just am not going to do anything with them so I'm going to leave it at that for the snails but uh, I'm gonna go in the water and see if I can check one of the traps. They're not my traps, so I'm not gonna be taking anything from the trap, but I'll just, just show you guys. But we'll leave this here and let me clean up my net. Before we check the trap, the mud is super high right here. So you can just collect them by hand as well. Um, I'm kind of lazy for that. The cast net or this trap is probably the most effective way. I'm sure in Vietnam you guys have other ways, but I'm not so familiar with it. Tell me in the comment section, but uh, I'll keep these guys. So. All right, so in these traps, oh, okay, let me move the camera. Again, this is not my trap, you guys. I think it's my neighbor's, um, so I'm not going to really be doing much with it. But we have some snails down here. I'll give you... I'll get a close-up. Hold on. So there are some tilapia, crabs, snails, catfish, gajay. Um, there's a crab right here. So you guys can see this crab, some snails down there. As soon as I lift it up, the fish start going crazy, but... Yeah, oh, they got some actually. 
That's a big shrimp. They have a really big shrimp in there. It's hard to see. Wow. You guys see the crabs? This is a, an okay catch. I know in my videos, it's usually just kind of talking about casual things, but I want to share a bit of knowledge with you guys, going back to my old microbiology days in university. So, Generally speaking, in tropical countries, you do have more diseases and parasites and just tropical illnesses. However, when it comes to snails, snails are famous for something called schistosomiasis. Yes, I will just say parasite because I don't know how it's going to translate to Vietnamese. But snails act as an intermediate. So someone goes to the bathroom in the water, the eggs are in the bathroom, they hatch, they go into the snail. After the snail, they get released back into the water and then you get it through contaminated food, uh, unhygienic water, um, even standing in water, do what I'm doing right now. Thankfully, I haven't really found any cases where I am. Anyhow, so today when I cook the snails, I'm gonna cook them quite thoroughly and uh, just wanted to share some knowledge for you guys. Ugh, hold on, I'm stuck. Ugh, okay. But anyhow, I'm gonna go back to my house. I'm going to take a quick shower. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, all cleaned up back at the house. So you guys can see maybe a little bit right here. I ended up washing this out a few times. Here's a, a close up with the snail. I'm not sure if it's focusing. You guys can see on the actual shell, there's, um, it's kind of like scarred into it. I thought it was algae at first, but it just, uh, it's part of the shell. I don't know if the shell gets damaged and it tr turns this kind of blue greenish. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's focusing. But anyhow, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I am not cooking today. Numloom is going to be cooking. So all I've done so far is gather the snails, wash them out a couple times, but we are going to be shifting the focus to Numloom. And also you guys, I actually ended up asking my neighbor if the snails are okay to eat because they cook them quite often. And for those at home, don't use my video on how to eat snails. Okay, my goal is to make sure I can eat them without getting sick. And so far we're okay. We're gonna go through all the proper, I guess, procedures, methods of cooking snails. But again, do not use my video for cooking snails, please. So, Master Chef Numloom, so what is the first step that we're going to do with the snails? So I watched a ton of videos on YouTube. They've said first you got to clean the snail, getting the the good. The good? I don't come here. The... Come find the... Uh, come find the good, huh? Coop. The goo, the every... The, the guts. Not the guts. Every... Like the goo? Goo as in like... I a, don't know. Everything dirty inside them. Like inside them. The inside, the inside. So we so, gotta clean the inside. Yeah. So I think eventually we put stuff on and then they will open the shell and then every dirt, every dirtiness inside it will good out. Okay. Um, originally I was interested in eating snails in my teenage years and the snails in my house in California, they're just like the typical garden snails. But the problem that you have in California is a lot of people use poison, so you just can't go and eat any snails. I think it's like the um, like the purification. Uh, there might be another word, but all like the poop, the fecal matter, the stuff inside the snails, you want it to get out. You wanted the snails to release it. Like so with garden snails, what you would end up doing is maybe feeding them oats for a few weeks in order to make sure the insides are completely cleaned out. A few um, weeks? Um, but it's a different scenario. I don't, maybe a few days, maybe a few days. Crazy. Again, do not take my video as advice on how to cook snails. Just leaving that out there two times already. Okay. First is the rice water, soak them in two to three hours. Um, and second is salt, uh, wood fire six chili with water, soak them two to three hours too. And the third option, which is very interesting, is five meadows, meadow, right? Metal. Meadows. Um, just put them in with water and eventually the, um, the snail will feel uncomfortable and release all of the dirt. But actually today we don't have much time so I decided we're gonna combine all three of them together and short into one hour. All right, maybe, I think it's great. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have said that. Why? 
<laughs> it's okay. So no, again, do not that. follow our advice for when it comes to cooking snails. I think it's gonna work. Like the snail cannot handle all three of them, so. Yeah, I don't know why. Speed up the process. With the metal, um, when it comes to some bacteria, because bacteria are categorized into two types: gram positive and gram negative. And metal will inhibit and also kill some types of bacteria. So I don't know if that's why you guys use this for maybe some types of bacteria, maybe on the snails. Just my thoughts. Maybe some of you guys have studied microbiology can tell me a bit more because I don't remember exactly. But okay, let's okay. do this. All right, the snails are drained. So first is the sauce and the chili. Okay. And then chili. My, my neighbor recommends five or six chili. Cut it up. Grab it. Guy, guy, guy. Calm sound. I usually touch. Calm sound. I hope you touch your eyes later. I will. Or go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we got the salt and chili. You gotta use your hands afterwards. You'll use your hands. Okay, I don't want to. The second options are rice water. Why don't you just pour it in? There you go. It's not professional. It's now already too, uh, super uncomfortable. Okay. And then our meadows. Really? I think so. <laughs> That's what they say on the internet. So we leave on one hour. I'm gonna put the thing in. Here's the beautiful creation. Now we that take the, the knife and see if you're bad. Because it's gonna poke the snails? Yeah. You already put salt and chili in this. The snails are gonna feel that anyway, so the knife's not gonna do much of a difference, huh? Mm. I don't feel like the knife. Okay. <laughs> so as I mentioned before, you guys, here's the, the beautiful creation Num Loom has made. This is by far one of the most interesting <laughs> methods of cooking snails. So how long are we gonna leave it now? So, uh, so we can buy all three, so speed up the process to one hour. So see you guys in one hour later. Let's see. I don't know it's gonna work. <laughs> okay. So far, you guys, it's been about 30 minutes or so. Um, I don't know. It's looking a little bit more like milky, kind of, with some like chunks of debris in there. But uh, in the meantime... We're gonna make the sauce. Okay, so... Um, the dipping sauce. But is it okay if we make the sauce early? Yeah, no problem. I think it's better because the sauce can have time to absorb and then taste better. Ooh, Master Chef Num Loom, all right. That's so, what I think. So what are the ingredients for today? So first I have uh, sugar, dung, uh, wokka. Wok is, that a, is that a lime or like a kumquat? Kumquat. Okay, kumquat. Kumquat. Um, garlic, ginger, uh, lemongrass, and the chili. So first, Alright, so you're just gonna chop stuff up. Cut off. Oh. No. <laughs> Stop.
stop. I'm not sure how I just edited this, you guys. No. But uh, where do I start? So first off, you guys, I want to mention sometimes when I use Tingvi in my videos, and if I'm mispronouncing something, it's because Numloom is teaching me the wrong words or not helping me with my mistakes. So just for a little bit of payback, this is the sauce that she made. Yeah. Chew Sam. Chew Sam. Chew Sam. Sam. Do it, do it, do it. One and more step. Also, for my Vietnamese it audience. Good yeah. Smell legitimate. Okay, but him, there's like chunks of I've never seen someone put <laughs> I tell you to give let me make it right. <laughs> there's chunks of let me make it right. So you guys keep in mind, Numloom is from the deep south in the Damn. Ming. <laughs> so you guys you. keep in mind. Numloom is from the deep south in Vietnam in the Ming Tay area. This is a special sauce from her area. <laughs> Alright. My recipe. Okay. So oh, no, no, no. I gotta, I, I gotta make it better now. No, we have to make it prettier. Don't film that. Don't film this. I'm laughing. <laughs> Why are you adding more? Because I want it. The... <laughs> This is the, the outside of it. This is pretty, uh. That pun! <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so scared to have these snails in. Come on, what? 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 This is, this is the, the final sauce. Ask the audience. They will, they will scale it like. All right, you guys. Please, in the comment section, on a scale of one to ten, how much are you? How Vietnamese is this sauce right here? <laughs> I've never seen sauce. I've eaten so many things in Vietnam. I've never seen sauce like this. But on the contrary, guys, if it still tastes good, that's all that matters. Yeah. I don't really care how it looks. So Nam Lum, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. Okay, so are we done with the sauce? Are we going to add good. anything else? No. Are you sure? Done. Okay. Alright, the sauce is finished. Yeah, so let this soak for a few seconds. How long is this, this nail? We, we didn't time it. It's probably, it's probably about an hour now. Sure. No, I think an hour. Okay. That, that sauce literally took you like 20 minutes to make. <laughs> I'm like dying behind the camera. Like, come on, hurry up. That was like 20 minutes. Uh. Oh, All right, so it's been an hour, give or take 10, 15, 30 minutes. We lost track of time. You guys, honestly, for me, it looks the same. So in the water, let me try to pick up some of this maybe like snail poop, which I can't. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's the salt like reacting with the rice water, making kind of like a whitish, creamy chunks. But uh, it looks pretty. Uh, I mean, it looks the same. Is it supposed to look different? <laughs> so Numloom, um, what's the next step? Um, I would just throw it to the bowl, but mm, I think it's better we wash it again. Wash it again? Yeah. So this is completely instant. I don't look at any video on the internet. Is it clean? It looks exactly the same. But inside, ma. We, we can't see inside, ma. But why not do, man? All right, so we're gonna take the silverware out. Just pretty much just remove the snails. But it, it looks exactly the same. Looks different. Oh, I'm so scared right now. Is that? I've had snails a lot in Vietnam, but uh, I've never cooked snails like this before. So. Oh yeah, no. At least, you know, the shell. I can even feel like a. 
a thin coat of like algae on it. Maybe when you we don't eat, when you don't eat the snail. Yeah, I know we don't eat the shell, but it's just we're gonna be cooking with it. No. All right, guys. So uh, we're gonna boil them next, right? Yes. So these are the snails right here. And now we're just gonna boil them, probably for a long time, and then we stir fry them, right? Uh, which or we just boil them and then dip it in the sauce. Dip it in the sauce. Ooh, okay. So we'll be able to eat them quite soon. Yep. Yeah. Just as soon as they open their shelf. Ah, I got you. I got gotcha. you. Because I was a little bit hesitant because. But if you don't, because we don't have time to clean them out properly, so we just eat the head. Okay, don't eat the gut. There's two types of we'll snail cut that out. eaters. We'll cut that out. That's okay. There's two types of snail eater. One eat the gut, the other don't eat the gut. And you're, you're doing I'm this. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's two times. Come duck. Try. Oh. So there's two types of snail eaters. Not snail eater. People who eat snail in Vietnam. One eat it with the gut. Two eat it without the gut. I'm the type two. So especially this one, I'm not going to eat the gut. Okay, I think it's time to boil them. What time do you want to do? <laughs> what do you think? Come on, I eat everything. Okay, go. But I am a little nervous, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, go. Let's stay home chat now, then. Good job. He's so... He's so worried, you guys. Okay. All right, so let's boil them. You, I, I'm confused right now. So, so we will boil them with um, lemongrass. So this all the lemongrass I have, I just toss them in. Wait, 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 do you use oil or water? Nope. It's kind of like steam. Yeah, but you have to steam it with some sort of liquid. According to what I, uh, what I saw, none of them put water in. Yes. Soupsick, are you going to have some of these snails? <laughs> well, yes. All right. Count me in. Dude, the cleaned up snails inside the snails. Say? Okay, we got some steam. But we're gonna cook this longer than two minutes. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, it does smell nice. It's like a steam bath. I'll give you credit. Mm -hmm. So, Numloom says we just cook it for two minutes. She may be correct, but we're going to cook it longer than two minutes. We'll leave it at that. So, all right, you guys, we're gonna let it cook and then um, check it in a few minutes. I'll check it. Actually. Oh. Somebody, your hair. That's not my hair. <laughs> that's Carly, that's your hair. All right, it's the moment of truth. The snails look pretty cooked. A lot of them have opened up the, I don't know, they have like a hard exoskeleton. The door. You could say the door, <laughs> but they've opened up. So, all right, Numlum, so you're gonna put yeah. the, the snails we open over here. up, welcome us to eat. Seven, eight, nine. Joy to the world, the Lord is. You guys, it is the moment of truth. Here are some of the snails. All right, soup sick. But these are the snails. So before Numlum and I eat them, so this one right here, you guys can see kind of like the hard inner shell, or maybe you can't see, I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but it, you can take it off pretty easily. And that's what it looks like without that hard exoskeleton thing. Usually we have toothpicks to eat them, but we don't have toothpicks, so we're just gonna use the dull knife that we have right now. If you guys are wondering why I'm not cooking a ton of snails, it's the first time I've ever cooked snails. I've had snails a lot in Vietnam from freshwater or saltwater. I've had escargot, I've had canned snails that I've bought back in the States, but this is the first time um, cooking it myself with Numlu. So I'm a little bit nervous. Um, it smells like a snail. It doesn't have any like aroma from the, the yeah. lemongrass. It yeah. literally. Snail. 
It like it just smells like a snail. Mm. No, it's not a little bit, ma. Come. No. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big snail. All right, so you guys see that right there? It's not really focusing, so I'll have to zoom in on the camera, but, um, okay. Oh. One, two, 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 two. So, Namu, which part do we eat? Do we just eat the whole thing? Because I can see, like, this is the meaty part. Yeah, okay, okay. You is this, is this good? This is the hat. You haven't... I didn't get the up. I didn't get the guts. Yeah. Oh, I tried to get the guts, but I didn't. But it has first. Oh, he used your hand. Oh, you use your hand. Anyway. <laughs> I use my hands. So just. Yeah. Put in. But the, 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 I just dip it. Yeah. All right, the first one. You put new one, Yeah, yeah, but my fingers. I haven't washed my hands yet, and I don't. I know. I always wash my hands, you guys. Just this time, I forgot to wash my hands. Rub gong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rub gong. All right, no loom. I'll give that to you. That, that's so really good. So from the scale from one to ten, how 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 good is this? That's great. I would eat this. Nice. Like meow, and then drink yeah. beer and eat this. Okay. So nice. Successful. Nice. Nice. You try. It. That's good. Good job. I mean, the the presentation wise, again, that doesn't matter to me. It's the flavor, but uh, okay. It's good. Go okay. for it. So another technique. I think this will this teeth gonna work. Mm. Take the big one. I know it's gonna be good. Ew, what's that? Is it wrapping? Is it wrapping? What's that? The heart? I don't know. Maybe it's its tongue. Maybe it's eggs. I don't know what the red thing is. We need the, the toothpicks. <laughs> so, the other technique. I'm, I'm waiting for that. So what's the other technique? <laughs> I want to get the gut out. Ooh, look at this. This is the gut. All right, you got it. But I'm not going to eat the gut. Sorry, Nef. I never eat the gut. Just use your hands. It's okay. Yeah, my hand dirty. But maybe cut the red stuff out. This good, right? Look at this. Dip it. All right. Wait. All right. Mm. Go on. I have to. I have to. I have to. I have to give credit for myself. The salt is so good. <laughs> it is. So from the scale of one to ten, how right, do you rate my let, sauce? Yeah. How you raise my sauce? Say that so, again. So, from I've been waiting so long to ask Dustin this. So, from the scale of one to ten, how do you raise my sauce? That's good. I'd give it a ten. Oh, yeah. it's good. You. But thank I'm you. used to very like sweet sauces, and you guys, this sauce is like thirty percent sugar. So, all right. Oh, wait, that's the oh this one I got a lot oh, of it. Oh, the whole thing. Um, so I, that's the, the whole thing for you. So you guys can see this red mass right here. I don't know if this is part of its... What is that? Like, I, I don't know. Uh, what was that? Because I will see snail eggs. I don't know what that is. Don't eat that. All right. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to eat it or not. You guys can tell me in the comment section. I won't eat it just for the case. Um, but don't worry, you guys. The catfish are going to enjoy these snails. So I don't know what this is. Milton. Uh, Milton snail. It, it's hard. It's firm. I don't know. Organs? Again, you guys, first time I've cooked snails. Um, so, after I get some feedback and maybe cook it with my neighbor, mm. it'll be a little bit different. Okay. But, uh, all right, so this one I will eat without sauce. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Take you so long. 
Yeah. Bento. Bento. With the sauce. Nice yeah, with the sauce. You have you have to have it with the sauce. Yeah. Like even the lemongrass and everything that you cooked yeah. it in, I feel it like um. Doesn't just soak it into. Like you don't even uh, taste it so much. Be careful. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah, Amazing. with the sauce, it's great. It's super good. Mm -hmm. And soup sick, soup sick guy. All right, where's soup sick? Soup sick guy. Uh, soup sick <laughs> sleeping. Let's do the dog test. Hold on. Um, I don't think she's gonna eat it, you guys. Soup sick ex is extremely carnivorous. I know a snail is still considered an animal, but she's like loves organs, live animals, birds, oh, she likes it. mammals. Give, give, give her, give her. You give her. All right, that failed the dog test. <laughs> oh, wow, the sauce is so good. Eh? It's so good. So everything, uh, so the sauce, you can um, pretty get the recipe, but everything else, don't don't try at home. Yeah. So, but I'll, let me just keep it simple. Let okay, me just yeah, say. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right, you guys, so I'm going to be eating a little bit more, but um, I just want to say, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed Numloom cooking, please let me know in the comment section because I can maybe have her cook more food. I, I find the food, I catch the food, and then she cooks it. Uh, I need to get... I have to have a little bit more patience when she's cooking, but... Uh, but you guys, this is the first time I cook the whole thing in the video, and it's the big successful. Yeah, it is. It's good. Yeah. Again, don't copy anything else <laughs> but the sauce. Please. I think I have, like, no stock. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, so don't copy what we did, you guys. Get like a, a proper recipe because yes. um, some things I do, I, I, I may have some knowledge about it. Some things I don't have much knowledge about it. So it's kind of like trial and error because I'm a, at the end of the day, I'm not a very good chef, but I do enjoy trying to make certain things. Some of them, God, some Vietnamese food is so complicated. It's so hard to make. Like for those that are not Vietnamese watching this, you guys, it's like, Vietnamese food sometimes is, is it just it's so complex and in depth. It may look simple on the outside, but it's not. Um, this I think is more on the simple end. Yes. Yeah. But oh, but yeah. If you guys have any ideas, please you can throw them out in the comment section too. I'm always welcome to yeah. hear your input, we and appreciate I appreciate it. it. Yes, every so, comments. Yeah, even if it's oh, Dustin, you suck at cooking. I know, I know. But um, for you guys, if you want to see what Numloom looks like without a life vest, I'll put her social media above the screen. I know where to point for that one up here. And it's also going to be in the description box below. But for you guys, I hope you have a great day and you enjoyed our snail cooking and everything that we did here. And uh, we'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't be it. Okay. Okay. So. Good job. And yeah, I'm so proud of my sauce.